Matson High View is a collection of luxury detached and semi-detached properties just above us here in Sulcombe. Bloor homes pride themselves on properties in the right location and detail is everything. They also build properties that are relevant, relevant to the surroundings and relevant to the purchaser's aspirations. And location wise, this development takes a lot of beating. Because you are situated just above Sulcombe, you're away from the hustle and bustle and yet you can wander down to the shops and restaurants, relax by the beach or take to the water. The developer has used a palette of both natural and contemporary materials and painted the properties in sympathetic colours so that they complement the natural surroundings. This is an example of one of the four bedroom properties and it will give you an idea of the quality and level of finish on offer. This was a challenging site due to the natural topography and to work with it they have created houses that sit into the natural landscape. And that has also created the opportunity to develop a series of multi-level dwellings. On the floor below, you have the garage and also the undercover parking. From the garage, you have direct access into the laundry room where you can hang up all your sporting attire and dry it in there. And thoughtfully positioned next to the laundry room, you also have a wet room. So when coming back from the beach with sandy feet, you can go in, have a shower, and then you don't traipse any sand upstairs. And because you have a bedroom on that level, you virtually have a guest suite. And the remaining bedrooms are upstairs. So the ash banister is a really nice feature. You've got storage on the landing and the bathroom is finished to a really high specification. You have porcelainosa tiles, rocker sanitary ware and even soft closed drawers under the sink. Then there is a single bedroom though it could easily be utilised as a study. And at the end of the landing you have a good sized double and because this is a four bedroom property the built-in wardrobes are included in this bedroom and then you have the master so again you have the fitted hammond's wardrobes and also options like the nest here so you can turn the heating on from your phone and then after a while it starts to memorize your patterns so you'll always return to a lovely warm home the ensuite here has a pocket door that slides in and out, giving you maximum space. You have in there the porcelainosa tiles again, and a large walk-in shower with hands grow mixer taps. And from this particular property, a spectacular view. You can even see the creek from here. But even if your property doesn't have a view, you are still set in an area of outstanding natural beauty, and you are just minutes from the water. But we'll head downstairs from here and have a look at the living areas. So we're back where we started. I really love the porthole on the front door and it also lets lots of natural light in. And immediately as you come in, you have the cloakroom. Then we have the sitting room, which has got a, virtually a floor to ceiling window, maximising those panoramic views. And you can opt for a wood burning stove, which will not only reduce your energy costs, but keep you nice and cozy in the winter and just lovely when you come back from a winter walk. Being the show home, you have lots of additional finishes in here, like the silestone work surfaces as opposed to granite and the intelligent lighting system, which means you can control the lights in zones and create different moods. And you can opt to have this in every room in the house if you wanted to. You have an induction hob in here and it's all Siemens appliances. And then when you go through to the dining area, there are roof lights making it lovely and light. And some of the properties even have the bifold doors, allowing you to open the space straight out onto the garden. This is a very manageable garden. Some of them are bigger and some even have sun terraces. And they say you haven't really seen Sulcombe until you've explored it from the water. But even if you don't like the idea of paddleboarding or sailing, you can still reach lots of hidden coves and beaches by boat. And after a day on the water, you can return to the shelter and tranquility of your garden to relax and entertain in the evening.